Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about gear, specifically tripods. And the tripod that I use the most, and I have some Bogan tripods that I use, but the tripod I use the most is this Gitzo. It's a G1348 MK2. Is that a Mark II? Did they start using Mark II before Canons did? And it's got my, uh, carbon fiber legs. It's a really beautifully made tripod because it goes up to maybe seven, seven and a half feet tall. And I can use an apple box to shoot really high sometimes when I need to get over a crowd or I just want to shoot down on a group shot or I want to get the camera up nice and high where a lot of the Bogans don't go that high. And it's got a Bogan 503 head, Manfrotto head, and it's a fluid head that's good for video. And this is a crazy story about how I got this. I was buying a video camera years ago to make a feature film and it was a Panasonic HD camera that had just come out and they were selling for $6,000 new and I had to invest in it to do this shoot and it was used on eBay for $4,300 and it had just come out so it really wasn't used much and the owner said they were closing a camera store in California and so they were selling the camera for a lot less but they also were including some you know tripod and some other junk and I figured it's gonna be a little plastic tripod and when I open up the box this is in it which is crazy because this is easily an $800 tripod setup and I'm like there's no way I wonder if the person who packed it knew what they were packing but again it's this buyer beware sellers market sometimes or sometimes it's the other way around and that was a great deal for me and I use this a lot now the Bogan head on this is heavy. So as lightweight as these legs are, the whole setup isn't all that light because of that Bogan head. But that's a great setup as far as those kind of legs that give you lightweight, they don't get freezing cold like an aluminum uh, leg on a, on a Bogan. And I love the fact that it's uh, lightweight like that. And there's something else that I use on all of my tripods. There's a Bogan 438. It's a uh, it's a leveling head. So what it does is it allows me to use one little clip and level my tripod head with a bubble level. So some of the better video tripods uh, by like Sattler and Miller, the pro commercial film heads for uh, motion picture work, they have a, a ball head and they have a, a leveling head that you can just release the ball and you can level your tripod after the legs are set. Well the 438 Manfrotto deal is a great little addition. It's only this big and it goes between your head and your tripod and it lets any lens, any uh, head become a leveling head and I find it invaluable because I always want to work with a level head when I'm shooting and then that sounds like a, a joke but I always want to work with a level head when I'm working with a camera and for video it's imperative otherwise when you move the camera it'll go like this and for a still shot if I want to tilt the camera I want to know that I'm choosing to tilt the camera not that the, the head did it and so this is a great setup that 438 I would highly recommend for uh, that's a under a hundred dollar used item that you can find that's a nice little treat if you have a few bucks to spend and you want to buy something but you're not sure what you really need that's something that you can use every time you use your tripod and I'm a big fan of tripods every time I do a portrait shoot everybody knows I bring a tripod I bring this because I want to have complete control over exactly what I'm getting and I want to get precise focus and I want to get the ability to use a low ISO setting and I want to be able to, you know, shoot at a 60th of a second or a 125th of a second at full telephoto of a portrait. And I want the eyes extremely sharp and focused. And I'm not able to always hold this. And this is. So if you're not using a tripod, I would suspect that your photos aren't as sharp as they could be. I know for me they're not. And I need to use a tripod and I take it everywhere. All my commercial shoots, everybody knows I'm the guy with the tripod. I don't work without it because I like keeping a, I'll put a 70 to 200 on this with the uh, mount on the lens and then I can take the camera off and on and put a wide angle on and walk around the room and shoot some wides, but then come right back to the tripod for the long shots. And it makes a world of a difference for me. So that's today's photography talk. Big fan of tripods. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and we'll talk to some more photography. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below.
Thanks so much for watching.